Hello everyone and welcome back. I've been away here for the winter months uh, for the most part and just been watching a few videos off and on. Anyway, I started uh, playing around with some more oscillators that can be modulated as you can see. And I'm sharing the uh, schematic now for uh, one that I have an integrated uh, Bluetooth receiver. And uh, I'll make the uh, schematics available as well on my Google Drive so you can actually download these uh, documents for reference. So my idea was to build a short-range transmitter. Again, one that uh, was friendly and not create any harmonics or uh, extra noise and not have any extended range, thus reduce the risk of creating any interference. And you can see that's all these are real short-range uh, transmitters. In addition, if you build any of these uh, circuits, just be sure you're in compliance with any uh, rules and regulations for your particular area. So let's get back to the first oscillator here that I used with my uh, integrated Bluetooth receiver. You'll see I'm leveraging a uh, Hartley design. It's a tapped uh, inductor there at about 20%. And uh, those notes are called out as well. You can see it has a small input power of less than 15 milliwatts and a range of just a few feet with no RF ground. Looking here at the Bluetooth isolated DC power supply, you can see I'm leveraging a DC to DC converter. And the reason why is to uh, eliminate or remove as much of the noise as possible there from the positive and negative rails of the Bluetooth. Since it's an integrated uh, power supply with the uh, transmitter, this seemed to uh, work. Also, you'll notice uh, D1 is a Zener diode acting as a voltage regulator. I'm leveraging the uh, VBAT input, uh, which is uh, around 4 volts or so in my case, with that particular uh, Zener in place. And the reason why, my input voltage again being less than 9 volts with the uh, battery being a rechargeable cell, uh, that seemed to uh, work best in lieu of using uh, the 5 volt location. About six hours, six and a half hours plus full modulation using the uh, transmitter and Bluetooth without a uh, recharge. And a quick look at the BOM here. Again, this will be available on the uh, Google Drive for download. And uh, some quick video here I did of the sine wave just from my oscilloscope. You can see it's a nice clean sine wave. And if you look at the distortions here, very good. Uh, looking at uh, 37 uh, dBC there for that first harmonic. And the second and third are actually less than that. The AM modulation looks great up to uh, right at 100% before it starts to uh, clip. So I'm satisfied with that as well. Let's take a look here at the uh, second transmitter that uh, is available for uh, download as well. Another extremely uh, clean oscillator circuit here. I'm uh, leveraging a coal pits uh, oscillator circuit here. And you can see I'm applying my modulation itself uh, back through the uh, collector using an audio transformer. Again, all this being driven, uh, nothing more than just my iPhone. And a quick glance here as well at the BOM for this particular design. Construction-wise, I decided to take a different uh, path here. You can see I'm a leverage uh, Manhattan design and ugly construction, kind of a hybrid of the two. So I'm just drawing out my uh, design here from the schematic on a, a small piece of paper. And you can see here I'm using my acrylic cutter here just to uh, score the board and uh, break that. And then I'm using a hole punch here in my uh, drill press. And I'm going to uh, drill and create those small islands, nodes, or really the Manhattan type design. And then I'm going to take my uh, volt ohm meter here and just make sure that um, I'm open between those uh, isolated points to the uh, ground point. Use my uh, small hand drill here as well just to uh, drill all the holes for the component leads. And uh, you can see here everything uh, mounted, completed. And uh, I tell you, it turned out pretty well. Makes for a nice uh, little simple RF board. Uh, got a nice uh, big ground plane, as you can see. And uh, kind of the proof in that, if you look back here at the uh, oscillator itself, you'll notice that the uh, sine wave is extremely nice and clean as well. And uh, trying to get the uh, feedback in place, you can see here my first harmonic is around 33 dB down. So uh, really clean transmitter as well. 
And uh, same holds true here for the uh, AM modulation here. You can see I can modulate it up to 100% uh, plus before it starts to uh, clip. So uh, it has really nice uh, AM modulation characteristics as well. And another very simple design, it's another Cole Pitts uh, oscillator. And again, here I'm leveraging a, a JFET, an NT312. I like this design uh, just because of the uh, input power is so minimal. So for a battery powered device, it uh, really, really uh, responds well. And uh, one more oscillator circuit here as well. This goes back to a Hartley oscillator that I uh, constructed as well. A little bit different uh, design. And again, it's uh, fairly clean as well. Harmonics are not uh, quite as clean as uh, some of the other builds that I had done. So I appreciate you guys uh, watching. I've got a few comments to uh, follow up on as well. And I um, hope to get those uh, cleaned up soon. And in addition here you can see another uh, prototype uh, power supply that I've uh, constructed over the winter months as well. This is for uh, one of my little small uh, portable receivers that I can use to do some uh, testing. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'll publish the uh, schematic in a future video as well that will be available for uh, download should you guys have a need to, to do so. Anyway, with spring around the corner, I hope to be back on the Crosley radio here in the next few weeks. And I appreciate you guys uh, sticking with me here my absence away from uh, YouTube. You guys uh, take care. Thanks again for watching and subscribing to my channel.